Happy Sunday, everybody. My name is Zach from the Princeton Club, joining us for about a 45-minute yoga practice. Whatever your Sunday has looked, or whatever day you're joining us, that you're having a great day. If not, welcome to your mat. We'll try to get you there as well. We're going to start today in a standing position. So if you come to mountain pose, feet hips-width distance apart, palms spread wide, facing forward. Begin by closing our eyes, deepening our breath. We can always start or typically start our yoga practice in mountain. Today we're going to move through some standing flow and postures. Down to all fours, hands and knees, seated. And eventually make our way to our backs to find rest. We start here in mountain today to stand tall, strong, confident in this moment. We root through the feet, that energy from the earth builds up through the legs, up through the hips, the core, climbing up the spine, and up and out through the crown of the head. Just this moment, just this breath. Each and every exhale, begin to let go a little further. That energy continues to build up through the earth, through our feet. So we can fully immerse ourselves and enjoy this moment we've been given. With your eyes closed, begin to soften those closed eyelids. Soften the skin below the eyes. That wave of relaxation travel down the face and down the entire front side of the body. Like a wave rolling from the head down the body. And that water splashes out in every direction. Lower belly expanding out with the inhale, coming back towards the spine with the exhale. Maybe your movements here in our practice. Take on a childlike form, finding a playfulness, reminding us that it's important to find that play, that laughter every day. We find that play. What comes with it is a carefree attitude. Just this moment, just this breath. Take a few quiet moments here in Mountain Pose. Begin to roll the shoulders up, back, and down from the ears. Feel our space, the temperature, the light, sounds, smell, the touch of our feet into the mat. Drop your chin down towards the chest and begin to find some small half circle movements. Chin up towards one shoulder. The inhale, chin comes back down to the chest with the exhale. We'll continue to move that side to side. You find yourself in your practice outdoors today. Feeling a breeze, sunshine on your face. Head lifts back up to center. Right ear drops towards right shoulder. Right hand can gently come down and assist. Left fingertips reach down towards the earth. Hand is never craning, pulling on the head or neck. It's just there for a little assist. And then head lifts back up. 
left ear, drops towards left shoulder, left hand, available if we'd like, for the assist. Head lifts back to center. Inhale, sweep out, lift up, big reach of the sky, palms touch. Hands lower, heart center. Inhale, sweep out, lift up, big reach, palms touch, lower heart center, and then continue with that movement, warming the body up with the movements and the breath. Aim for your exhale to be twice as long as the inhale. One more time, inhale, lift up, reach up tall. Maybe lifting up off of the heels this time, high in the toes. And then heels drop, palms come back to heart center. Inhale, sweep out, lift up, big reach of the sky. Right arm drops, left fingertips reach up. And then we reach over to the side. Lengthening through the left side of the body. Keep your shoulder back. Body in one plane, as we press right between two panes of glass. Another inhale in the side bend. Exhale. Inhale, lift up. Left palm drops, right fingertips reaching to that sky. And then up and over. Maybe a slight glance up past the right elbow to the sky. Inhale, lift back up, palms touch. Exhale, hands lower, heart center. Finding those side bends with a little bit of flow. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lean over towards the right. Inhale, lift up, fall to the opposite way. And then either moving with me or your breath. Chin, you side to side. One more time to each side. And then palms come back to heart center. Round of deep cleansing breath before we move forward. Deep inhale. Exhale, let the breath roll off the back of the throat, H-A ha sound. Let's take one more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep out, lift up to the sky, exhale. Swan dive, forward fold. First time in our fold here this morning, this evening, whenever we happen to be taking this practice. Walk the hip the knees left and right, opening up through the lower spine, through the hips, hands come to shins, inhale, flat back, half lift, exhale, lower down, flowing again, inhale, sweep out, lift up, exhale, swan dive, forward fold, half lift, lower down, reverse swan dive. Exhale, coming back down. And then continue with that flow. Your breath, guiding the movement. Two more times through. Standing flow. Hands back to heart center. Adding some strength and building through that foundation. Strengthening up through the legs, chair pose. Inhale, sweep out, lift up. Exhale, hips fall back, chair. Reaching forward. 
towards the front of your mat, towards your space. Hips continue to fall back, weight into the heels. Breathing in and breathing out. Sink a little further. Inhale, lift up, swan dive, forward fold. Half lift, and lower down. Reverse swan dive, sweep out, lift up. Exhale, back to chair. Twisting chair, palms come together. Left elbow outside of the right leg and knee. Right elbow to the sky. Chest opening up towards the thumbs. And we find breath. Out of that twist to center, inhale, lift up, exhale, swan dive. Half lift, and lower down. Sweep up, lift up tall, reach to the sky. Exhale, chair. Palms touch, twist opposite way. Right elbow outside of left leg and knee. Left elbow to the sky, and find breath. Left knee twisted back, bring it back forward. Two knees in one alignment. Out of the twist back to center, inhale, lift up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Flowing again, half lift. Lower down, reverse swan dive. Exhale, chair. Inhale, lift up. Swan dive, forward fold, half lift, and lower, reverse swan dive, exhale, sink into the chair, weight back in the heels, and then continue on your own a few times through this flow with that added chair. Thankful for the blessing of this day. These moments we've been given together to find our mats, to find our practice. And the next time we lift up, palms touch, hands lower to heart center. Arms drop at our side. Two deep rounds of cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Breathing in. And out. Next, inhale, sweep out, lift up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Hands come to the shins, half lift. Exhale, lower down. Right foot steps back. Left foot stays forward. Inhale, rise up. Crescent lunge. You can also drop to the knee. We need that additional support. Pressing back to the right heel. Belly button pulled in towards the spine. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, chest expansion. We can find gold post arms, 90 degree bend, elbows pulling back together. Or flexibility allows, or we have a strap or a towel. We can interlace our fingers, pull the heels of the hands together, pull back through the knuckles. Maybe a slight glance up towards the sky. Found that grip release. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower the hands down. Right foot steps forward. Inhale, flat back, half lift. Exhale, lower down. Reverse swan dive, sweep out, lift up. Head falls back, back bend. Hips press forward. Head falls back. Opening up through the whole front side of the body. Inhale, lift up, exhale, 
slow swan dive forward fold. Half lift and lower down. Right foot steps back. This time the foot drops, 45 degree mm -hmm. angle. And as we get ready, we power up warrior one. Palms face each other. Left hip stays back, right hip rolls forward. And we lift up to the sky. Biceps, triceps, strong and engaged. And this time we bring our palms together. We begin to drop the thumbs down so they graze the back of the neck. Elbows reaching up towards the sky. Even as the elbows reach up, try to pull the shoulders down. Palms lift back up, hands separate, arms slow down. Right foot steps forward. Half lift. Exhale, lower. First swan dive. Head falls back, back bend. Hip press forward. Squeeze through the glutes. Inhale, lift up. Swan dive, forward fold. Half lift. Lower down, right foot steps a little further back this time. Foot, heel, outer edge drop. Toes this time perpendicular to the side of our mat. Inhale, lift up, warrior two. Sink and drop the hips. Left knee out, right hip stays back. And breathe. Look back behind you, looking for that fingertip to fingertip connection. Front leg stays bent, deep inhale, exhale, side angle. We can find supported with the forearm, elbow, and the leg, right fingertips of the sky. We can extend in a long line, or if it's part of our practice, full side angle, coming down elbow to the inside of the leg and knee. Sink and drop those hips. One more round of breath. Inhale, lift up, exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Hands windmill down, framing the foot, pivot right toes. Right foot steps forward, forward fold. Inhale, flat back half lift. Exhale, lower down. Reverse swan dive, sweep out, lift up. Palm touch. Hands lower, heart center. Arms drop at her sides. Mountain pose. Let that first side go, finding a little movement of the hips. Side to side, a few circles. In one direction and then the other. And then stillness. Back to that starting point. Stillness, where we began our practice here today. Finding that other side next. Inhale, sweep out, lift up, big reach. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Hands to shins, half lift. Exhale, lower down, big step back with the left foot, and then rise up, crescent lunge. You can always take some modifications, maybe it's coming one hand at a time to that leg, lifting one arm up and then the other. Making a practice work for us. Just this moment, just this breath. Inhale, lift up, exhale, chest expansion. We found that other version of chest expansion. Interlace the hands again. This time, opposite thumb on top. Pull back to the knuckles. Got a little breeze here outside today. Testing my balance.
and then release that grip. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands float down. Left foot steps forward. Half lift. Lower down. Earth swan dive. Exhale, back bend. Each time you come to that back bend, feeling the body release a little further. Lower, middle, upper spine, all backward bending. Inhale, lift up. Swan dive. Half lift. Exhale, lower. Left foot steps back. Foot drops 45 degree angle. Inhale, lift up. Warrior one. Right hip back. Left hip squares forward. And we breathe. Inhale, lift up, palms touch, thumbs drop back, elbows reach up. Still in that warrior one. Inhale, lift up, hands float down. Step the left foot forward. Half lift, lower down. Reverse swan dive. Exhale, back bend. Last back bend in this set. You're going to be back bend. Continue to breathe. Heart shining up towards the sky. Inhale, lift. Swan dive, forward fold. Half lift and lower. Left foot steps back. Foot drops. Inhale. Warrior two. Exhale, sink the hips further. Right knee out. Left hip back. Fine breath. Sink a little further. Check that fingertip to fingertip connection. Your shoulders feel tight. Both palms can roll up towards the sky. Shoulders relax. Palms roll back down. And then we're back to our breath. Deep inhale. Exhale, side angle. Option supported, extended, full. Your choice. What do you need today? Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Find your healing on your mat. Take care of yourself. Fill up your cup. So you can be more to others when you leave this space. One more round of breath, side angle. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Hands will mill down. Pivot to left toes. Left foot steps forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, lower down. Reverse swan dive. Palms touch. Hands lower, heart center. Mountain pose. Find stillness. Our last standing posture, balance and treat. Shift weight over to left leg and foot. Right ankle, or right heel rather, it comes to the left ankle. Come to the calf, or it can come above the knee on the inside of the leg. Knee turns out, hip square forward. Hands can stay down, heart center, or lift up. Just this moment, just this breath. Palms touch, hands lower heart center, release the top leg, shake out standing. Shift weight over to right leg and foot. Left sole of foot, ankle joint, calf or above. Great thing we're on our mats, we can let all those outside worries, troubles, anxieties go. And just be who we are. No matter that outside circumstance, situation, we can find ourselves today and each day we visit our mats.
Two more rounds of breath and three. Palms come together, hands lower, heart center, release the top leg, shake out standing, come back to the top of your mat if you move. Inhale, sweep out, lift up, swan dive, forward fold, half lift, lower down, hands come down to plant, finally we step back to plank, supporting the weight, thinking less of that support coming through the hands and the wrists, more through the core, so much core engagement that it almost feels as if we're floating. Deep inhale, exhale, hips shift back and up, down dog, ears hang heavy in between the biceps, first time in down dog, walk, heels, pedal them left and right, maybe as one heel presses back, the other top of the foot comes to the mat, we roll through the toes a little bit. And stillness and down dog and breath. Relax the shoulders, relax the upper back. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale lower down, knees are lifted, elbows in tight. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Tops the feet to mat, toes flip. Hips lift back and up, down dog. Forward plank. Exhale, lower down. Sweep up and through. Toes flip, down dog. And then continue on your own a few times through this flow. Working our way back to child pose. Drop to the knees, if lifted. Hips fall back towards the heels. Forehead comes down to the mat. Just this moment. Just this breath. Inhale, rise back up. Step back to plank, hips lift back and up, down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts back up behind us, three-legged dog. Left foot steps forward. In between the palms, slow runners lunge. Right knee, top of right foot to the mat. Inhale, rise up, kneeling lunge. Palms touch, hands lower, heart center, and we twist. Right elbow outside of left leg and knee. Left elbow towards the sky. Staying on that knee. We found our standing postures earlier. Now we're finding a little different type of practice. Our grounding a little bit different. One more round of breath in the twist. Inhale. And exhale. Out of that twist, back to center. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands float down. We lift off of that back knee, pressing back to the heel, right hand, mat plants firmly into the mat. We lift the left fingertips up to the sky. Then we're transitioned to side plank. So if we need to, that knee can drop back down. Otherwise, we step the left foot back in one movement or several. Option to lift the top leg. Option to reach the fingertips towards the front of the mat. Last option, that side plank. We can take a tree pose variation. With the foot somewhere along the leg, but avoiding the knee. All options. No competition. 
no judgment, no expectations here today. Left hand floats back down. We try to pivot to the right toes. Left leg lifts back up again. And then the left foot steps forward and through in between the hands. Left hand inside the left foot. Right knee, top of the right foot drop to the mat. Dragon pose. We can stay here with arms extended long. Or we can drop down, bending the arms. Maybe forearms, elbows to a prop or the floor. Head hangs heavy. Breath is deep. Three more rounds of deep full breath. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in. And out. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Begin to build back into the hands. Left hand outside of left foot. Right toes stick in the mat. Knee lifts up. Left leg back up behind us. Three-legged dog. Slight bend in the left leg. Drop it back over the right. Stack the hips in a twist. Slight glance underneath the left arm. Out of that twist, foot down, down dog. Forward to plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Sweep up and through. Toes flip down dog. Three more times. Do that half series flow on your own. We'll meet in down dog before we find that second side. Down dog, breath is deep, inhale, right leg lifts back up behind us, three-legged dog, right foot steps forward in between, palms, slow runners lunge, drop the left knee, top of left foot to the mat, inhale, rise up, kneeling lunge. Sinking into the left hip. Right foot far enough forward. But the knee doesn't come over the toes. Palms touch. Hands lower heart center and twist. Left elbow outside of right leg and knee. Right elbow up towards the sky. Out of that twist, inhale, lift up, hands float down, framing the foot. We lift up off of the left knee, left hand plants under the face, right fingertips reach up to the sky in a twist. Options to come into that side plank. I'll take the option this time, dropping to the knee and then slowly bringing that foot out. Left foot kickstand behind, or we can join the legs stacked or staggered feet. If we found that option before, or lifted leg, tree pose in our side plank. Find it on this side. One wrist is giving us some problems on one side or the other. You can always drop down to forearm and elbow. One more round of breath. Inhale. Exhale. Right hand floats down. Left toe stick. Right leg up towards the sky. Option to bend that leg. Drop it back over the left. Stack the hips in a twist. Out of that twist. Foot down, down dog. Forward to plank. Lower down, chaturanga. 
Sweep up and through. Toes flip down dog. Three more times on your own. Half series flow. Last time in down dog. Here comes seated one of two ways. We can float forward a plank, drop to our knees, cross our legs back behind us, or we can find a jump through our practice today. A little bit of an extra challenge, hips lift up, engage through the core, and then float the legs forward and through, softly landing on your seat. Just like that, he says. Simple cross, half lotus, eyes are closed, breath is deep. And we find stillness. Inhale, arms sweep out, lift up tall to the sky. Left hand to right knee, right hand comes back behind us, long spine and twist. Looking back over the right shoulder. Left shoulder drop. On a new position for our practice here today, seated. Try that on, see how that feels in this moment. Back out of that twist. Inhale, sweep out, lift up. Right hand to left knee, left hand plants behind, long spine, and twist. Out of that twist back to center. Bottoms of the feet come together to touch. Heels about 18 inches from the body. And then we snake the hands, palms up underneath the legs. And we let the body hang heavy. Head drops, chin towards the chest. Relax for the upper back. Round out. Picture that rounding taking place. And opening up. Slowly rolling back up. Knees come together. Soles of feet to the mat. And we begin to make our way down to our backs on the mat. Feet, knees, hips with distance apart. Heels walk in a little bit, so we can maybe just brush the back of the heel with the fingertips of each hand. Palms come flat. Inhale, hips lift up, bridge pose. Stay right there. We can interlace the fingers underneath. And press the outer edges of the hands into the mat. Shoulders were rolled under. We release, palms back flat. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come down. And then continue a few times on your own. Bridge flow. Next time you come down, pull the knees into the chest. Big squeeze. Knees, legs, feet side by side. Little rock. A couple of circles in one direction. And then the other. Last posture. Two options. Happy baby. Knees, legs, open up wide. Hands, arms inside the legs, hips lift up, reaching for the calves and shins, or outer edges of the feet, pull down strongly with that firm grip, and then lower 
vertebrae into the mat if any popped up. <clears throat> Soles of feet face the sky, shin bone perpendicular to the floor, thigh bone parallel to it. We can stay here in happy baby. We'd like to take one last inversion option for shoulder stand. Upper arms, elbows come into the mat, hips lift up, we place the hips in the hands, <clears throat> toes reach up towards the sky, very little pressure on the head or neck, making sure we don't bring the legs back. Keep everything stacked, supported. You can always stay in happy baby or come knees to chest. All the blood rushing back down the legs to the body, cleansing the legs. Legs up a wall also works too. And then whatever version of that pose we were in, we come back up. Pull the knees back into the chest one last time. And then feet drop. And we find our final posture, Shavasana. Whatever that looks like for us. Maybe it's legs long, feet separate, toes roll out. Soles of feet to the mat, outer edges, these fall together, or recline butterfly. So you remain on your back. Unless it doesn't work for you, you can always come to seated too. However we find ourselves, our eyes are closed. Our breath is deep. We let this practice go completely, whatever it looked like. Maybe we were more or less mindful than the last time we found our mat. Flexibility might have been different, our balance, our strength. But whatever that looked like today, know that that's part of your journey, your yoga journey. Is it possible we could try looking at our lives that same way going forward? Not holding on to the successes for the things that we deem as less than successful. Those are just moments in our journey that brought us to where we are. Where our only job where we are currently is to be in the moment. So that's what I invite you to do here as you lie on your backs. Just be. To practice whatever it looked like brought you here. For that, I'm grateful. Your lives, whatever those have looked like up to this point, brought you here. It's a blessing to have you in this space today. Grateful for you. Thankful for you. Blessed to have you be part of my life in this practice today. The next step is to take that thankfulness, gratefulness, that blessing, and appreciate that first in yourself. So you can begin to bring that out of others. Soften through the eyes, through the face. That wave of relaxation wash down towards your feet. Take this time and breathe.
wiggle your fingers, your toe. Head gently fall side to side. Leg, take a full body stretch, reaching back through the fingertips, forward through the toes. And then pull one arm in and roll over that side, pulling the legs in. Take two rounds of breath on that side. Slowly, carefully, make your way back to seated. Long spine. You can almost tuck a blanket, a pillow underneath our seats, our hips, our low spines, a little tighter. To help us find that spinal length. And a little more comfort in this position. Hands come to heart center where we close our practice here today. The light, the love, the joy in me, respect, honor, acknowledge, the light, love, and joy in you. Thank you so much for your love, your energy, your practice, your patience, your peace. Namaste. Fantastic rest of your day, wherever that takes you, whether you're finding this practice this Sunday evening when I originally post or later on in the week. My name is Zach. It's been a pleasure guiding you in this practice here today. A fantastic rest of your day. Blessings on that day.